Hello YouTube. It is Friday, December Friday, December 17th, and I have here my Walmart order. Just decided to get it a little bit early this week because well, holidays are coming up. Things will be closed next Saturday, and I think I'm going to do another little top up midweek, probably Wednesday, just to make sure we don't run out of anything. But this is mostly a stock up haul, except for the spinach and yarn. Okay, start with the cold stuff. We've got two packs of smoked chicken breast deli meat for sandwiches. 175 grams, and they are either three dollars each or two for five. And we have cheese sticks or cheese strings, whichever you want to call them. There is 16 to a bag. They are 50% moisture, 18% milk fat. And they are pizza mozzarella cheese. Those were $5.97 each or two for ten dollars. So I got two. And I got some more bacon, because bacon. I got another original and another lazy maple. They are 375 grams. And they were the same price as last week, which was $7.97. Or two for twelve dollars. And I got this one is cottage cheese. I was thinking about possibly making lasagna this weekend, but uh, I decided against it. Maybe next weekend that'll be something to do for Christmas and Boxing Day. But anyway, I got the cottage cheese because it was on sale and I will use it. And it is 2% cottage cheese, a 500 gram container of Gailey Nordica. Regular price is $3.98 and it was on sale for $2.97. I think that's the last of my cold stuff after this. Got some coffee creamer. International Delights. Oreo cookie flavor, lactose free. It's a 946 milliliter bottle. Get up here, it's heavy. Regular price is $4.77 and it was on sale for $3.97. Still no butter pecan, which is a little strange to me. Okay, now I'm gonna put this cold stuff away. Oh, one more cold item. Four liter of milk. 577 still. And I'm back. That took a little longer than I expected. I, my Costco order arrived. So, stuck stuff in the fridge and ran downstairs to get Costco. Alrighty, so, non refrigerator items. Most of them are prepper pantry stuff. I got two jars of great value. Sandwich pickles, bread and butter. This is so much easier than little round circles trying to get on sandwiches. And they are regular $2.57. These have a Best Buy date of July 2023. As we all know, this stuff goes past the Best Buy date, although this probably won't last till then. Then I got a whole bunch of yarn. Yeah, you got those two varieties, they're pretty close, the colors. Um, this one's a lot thicker than this one, so I'm hoping I'll still be able to tie them onto the end of each other to make a really pretty colorful blanket. Fingers crossed. And those were $9.87 each, and I got six, which should be enough to make uh, a large throw or large twin size blanket. We'll see when it's done. Next, kitty treats for the neighbors. I want to see what the prices were because they got some replaced. Okay, so they were all $2.98 each. I guess they're four for ten sale ended. 
So we've got two tuna shrimp and salmon mix-ups and two hearty beef. And these are the 180 grams. I thought they were four for 10. Like I say, probably sale ended and now they're 298. And actually no, the beef ones were 278 and the mix-ups were 298. And we have chips, lots of chips this week. I got six bags at the three for eight deal. Got the cheddar snowflakes. Doritos late night tacos, or fully loaded nachos. White cheddar popables. Salt and vinegar popables. Burrito sweet chili heat. And a Canadian favorite, ketchup. Got two loaves of Ben's bread. They are the 570 gram loaves. Good size slices. Um, sadly, Ben's will no longer exist soon. It's been taken over. Well, it's owned by Dempsters. They're just cutting this line, I guess. And these were regular two seventy-seven or two for five dollars. Those are going to go in the freezer. Spinach. Got two bags of this Fresh Express. It's eight ounces and they were two ninety seven each so it does come out more expensive to get those two bags which add up to five ninety four than the one one pound bag from Costco but I have found the last two or three times we've gotten spinach from Costco in that bag it is wilty it's wet and it actually smells a little bit when you open it. And like when you first open it, not it's been in the fridge for three days opened. So I decided we're going to get it from Walmart for now. I would have actually preferred to get it in the clamshell, but this is a little bit cheaper and it looks okay. And then another prepper pantry item. These Betty Crocker scalloped potatoes, the creamy scalloped were on sale three for five still so last time I got au gratin this time I got creamy they're regular 217 a box or five dollars if you get three also for the prepper pantry and this is not something we've had in a long time and it's not something I want to have a lot but there are nights where I'm like I don't know what to do anymore for supper, especially the last few weeks, and I'm just burnt out on ideas and actually making stuff. So I said, I'm going to get me some helpers. And conveniently, these were also on sale three for five. So I got a tuna helper au gratin. One Hamburger Helper Stroganoff and one Hamburger Helper Lasagna. And again, those were th five dollars if you got three. Or, 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 how much individually? Two seventeen. Okay, continuing here, da, 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 more prepper pantry things. And I got some evaporated milk. Close here, 354 milliliters. This is just the regular. It's not skim, I don't think. It doesn't say skim anywhere. And it's not local local, but it is made in the Maritimes. It says the pride of Prince Edward Island. All Canadian. Those are regular 
Installer 27. No. I'll put the regular price up on the screen later when I can math. But uh, the two cans cost $2.54. And I've seen other YouTubers, uh, specifically Jessica Wanders. She has been doing a $21 a week challenge for the last 17 weeks. She just put up her finale today. And she's constantly using evaporated milk instead of regular milk. So I'm going to probably open up a can and give it a try when we run out of regular milk just to see if anybody notices the difference. My guess is they won't. And I also got two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Oops, those do not stack very well. They are the 300 milliliter, same brand, Dairy Isle, made in uh, Prince Edward Island. And I will again put up the right, correct numbers on the screen as to how much they were individually. But I got two, and it came to $3.94. The Campbell's Low Sodium Beef Broth. Uh, again, I only have one concentrated beef broth in my cupboard. I have plenty of vegetable and plenty of chicken, so I got another beef. This one was $1.27. Close here, 900 mils, 30% less sodium. And this gravy. I have not yet opened a single can of the gravy I've gotten previously. I got two cans of the mushroom gravy, Franco-American brand. 284 milliliters, and those were 67 cents each on sale. I'll put up the regular price once I count it out, because it's not showing here. Nope, another prepper item. We've got some blackberry jam style spread. Peach, mango, and orange jam style spread. I've never had peach, mango, orange spread. Thought I'd give it a try. And I don't have any blackberry jam for sure. These are $2.97 each or two for five dollars. I have a few other jams up in the cupboard already. I have strawberry and raspberry, and I just opened up a blueberry, but I did not have any blackberry. Like I said, I've never had the mango, peach, orange, and I wanted to try it. So that'll probably be the next one I open up after I'm out of blueberry. Then I got... I have to go without the Almer Accents Chili Seasoned Diced Tomatoes. This is a 540 milliliter can. Use it in chili, use it in lasagna, use it in my Mexican casserole. It's our favorite diced tomatoes. And they were $1.87 each, or three for four dollars. And one of the few condensed Soups I still get are Cremos. This one's chicken. 284 milliliter can. They were, where are they? They were $1.97 each or $5 for four. Prepper pantry item, I'm down to like one can and uh, winter's coming. That's soup, season, soup and stew season. I want to be out of that during soup and stew season. Now we have Iim's kitten food again. Oh, the perfect portions. Get one of these every one side of these every morning. They're again a dollar twenty-eight or a dollar each. Or sorry, they're a dollar twenty-eight each or five for five dollars. So I always get five. The other thing I did not put up on the counter was cat litter for multiple reasons. They are 12.7 kilograms each, which is about 
25 to 30 pounds and there's two of them and they are two they are 22.98 each it's the arm and hammer slide multi-cat clumping it's a box with the purple on it and yeah that is all for my walmart order thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up Please subscribe if you enjoy grocery hauls. I have some up almost every single week from Walmart, Costco, sometimes Dollarama, and a very rare bird at Sobeys. So I don't go to Sobeys too much anymore. And if you have friends that might enjoy this, please share with them as well. Also, please, if you have any questions or any comments you want to make about my grocery orders, or if you want to ask a question about me, Put it down in the comments below. I'm hoping that in January or February, I can't remember which was the first time I posted a video to YouTube, I would like to do a one an year anniversary Q&A. If anybody has questions about me, I'll answer them there. And I will leave at that point. I will also do a little bit of a recap of what I've done this year and what I'd like to do in the coming year, 2022. Again, thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share.